Hello everyone, Minoxen here bringing you episode 2 in our Let's Build It MechWarrior Online series. Today's mech is going to be the Centurion AL, parentheses M. The parentheses M means that it is a build that I have customized and like to play a lot, so it's uh, generally successful. Uh, so in case you're new to the show, here's how it works. I'll explain the build in the mech lab, giving you all of the information for you to go and build this guy for yourself. And I'll even make sure to drop a Smurfy link in the description so you guys can have that for easy reference. Uh, I then take the mech out for an hour and play as many matches as I can, record all the stats, and then bring them back to you for review. If you want to play along, then as always, copy the build provided and drop for an hour to see how you do. Then record those stats and post them in the comments below. First off, we're moving at a speed of 89.1. I do have this mech mastered, so that will put me up at 98 kph. That is thanks to the uh, 275 standard engine in there. It is a 50 ton mech, which is in the medium class. It has a firepower of 38, a heat efficiency of 1.28, and 322 points of ferrofibrous armor. So it's got the ferrofibrous upgrade. It also has endo steel upgrade, and I believe it also has double heat sinks. Yes, that's correct. Also with Artemis. So this guy is fully kitted out, no space to spare. Uh, we will break it down from the, uh, let's go right side to left here. As right arm, we have a lot of dynamic structures in there. Uh, two medium lasers are the important parts. Then in the right torso, it has two double heat sinks. It does not have an AMS, which is one of the weak points of this build in the current metagame, with missiles being important. But with 98 kph, you should be able to find some cover. Just gotta play smart. Uh, we will move on to the center torso where we have two medium lasers, a standard 275 standard engine with uh, one double heat sink added into the engine there. The, the 275 gives this mech the maximum ability of movement speed as well as good torso twists and other actions there to help spread that damage. Nothing in the head. In the right torso, or left torso, we have two SRM6s with Artemis. In the left arm, we have absolutely nothing since this is the shield arm. That is a very important arm. You want to try and get rotated as much as possible to take that damage for you. And the right leg, you've got one ton of SRM Artemis ammo. And in the other leg, you've got the other ton. So this comes with two tons of SRM ammo. There's no other ballistics or otherwise, so there's no other ammunition you have to worry about. Again, it does have the ferrofibrous endo steel, double heat sinks, and Artemis. So now that you know that, let's take a look at the armor. Okay, starting out at the head, we have uh, 18 full armor, then 49 center torso. We won't go over every single one because that's really redundant. Um, I do have a little bit more armor on the back than I usually run. Um, I figured since I'm doing this solo, this is really a great mech if you run it with a pack of other guys. Um, so you might shift a little bit more here if you're running at least a pair of these. But uh, otherwise, it's pretty good to keep a little bit on your back because it, it can be hard to keep it to the away from the enemy at all times. Uh, let's see, yep, I think the only other spot that we really shaved was from the legs here. I think the, the arms remained at full armor, that's correct. So, uh, we should be good to go. You've got all your armor counts here. I'll have a Smurfy link in the description so you guys can get to building on this. I'm going to drop for an hour, and I will see you on the other side. Alright guys, I've now played for an hour and uh, have a link to the first drop that will be in the annotation shown here on the Centurion picture. Feel free to check out all the videos for that and then come back to the stats breakdown or go ahead and keep watching and watch those videos afterwards. Uh, for those of you that are still here, let's go ahead and get into the nuts and bolts of how this mech performed. We managed to play 8 matches in our hour and uh, held on to a 57% win ratio, which isn't too horrible. Uh, we scored a 9 kills with 4 deaths, leaving a kill death score of 2.25 with 16 assists. Our total damage for our matches was 2,462, which averages out to 307 damage per match. For my overall review of the mech, of course I enjoy it, it is my own design, but there are some things to keep in mind while piloting the CN9-AL parenthesis is that while it can cap out at 98 kph with speed tweak, the movement does not make you invulnerable to enemy fire. Uh, be sure to choose smart times to engage and remember your range limitations. You are primarily short range, around 270 meters. Uh, pay attention to the enemy mech weak points and try to get at them with your maneuverability. If you can manage to get behind a mech when he has a weakened back uh, side panel, then that might be a good way to go. And finally, remember to torso twist. You have a sacrificial left arm, and if your SRM launchers are almost empty, you can give up the left arm and left torso for them to chew on. 
Uh, mediums work great in packs, and if you get a couple of your buddies to run this with you, then you'll have a great time. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then be sure to subscribe. Also, if you could take a second to hit that like button, that always helps. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, be sure to leave a comment below and maybe your idea will make it into a video. I'll catch you next time, Mech Warriors. Minoxin out.